boy. It's gotta be. I don't know what else it would be. Yeah, man, I can't even get him to come up. I'm worried I'm gonna lose this fish. So Jacob and I are out here and we're, we're going up to a uh, little crappie hole that he found and he invited me out. So we're going on up and we're gonna see if we can catch any crappie. The water's a little bit murky, but I'm hoping because this hole is out of the current that, oh, there's a snake up there, y'all. Anyway, I'm hoping that because the water's out of the current up there that it won't be quite as muddy and we'll be able to get on get on some crappie and maybe you know it'll turn into a bass video i forced myself this time to bring six pound test and eight pound test so hopefully i only fish for crappie but we'll see i'll see y'all when we get to the hole Got a stick. Well, oh, mine. Size, oh, I didn't catch anything. Oh, I saw one in there. Yeah, there's one. Oh! There. Wow! Look at that. Man, that's a fatty. That's pretty big. That'll get a trophy crappie. That will get a trophy crappie indeed. All right, I'm trying to catch bait, and Jacob's got a bass. What are you using? A cinco. A cinco. Oh man, he's in the current. He's in the current, y'all. <laughs> and he's got two pound test. No, what do you have on there, eight? I think I got six or eight on here. Not a bad fish. Not a bad one, man. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's a Guadalupe. For the uh, upper, wow, that is oh, a Guadalupe. Is that a Guad yeah, that is. Look at that. Wow. Not bad. Not bad at all for this current like this. Look at that. Looks like he's got some damage on him right yeah. there. Cool. All right. Right in the current. I'm gonna get back to catching bait, which I'm <laughs> failing at currently. Well, I was trying to catch bait and I caught some crappie. How about that? Two of them. Let's get them back in the water. Oh, there they go. That's a pretty good sign. Tells us they're in here at least. There's some stuff suspended about six feet here. I'm just gonna park up here real quick. Gar just broke my line. Dude, I thought you were the crop in the stick. It's always different, you know? <laughs> You see that? Bobber's under. Probably a, probably a gar. What is it? It's a giant long crappie. No, it doesn't even have the hook. What is it? It's, it's a gar. It's not even got the hook. Oh, well, let's get it. There we go. Uh -huh. Got my minnow back. What a terrible death. <laughs> Honestly, being impaled. <laughs> Holy crap. We're about to make a gar fishing video. Not even kidding. We're gonna try for a little longer though. I spotted fish around six to 10 feet on the depth finder and I figured they were crappie because they were deeper down. The issue was, as you saw, the gar were just crazy. I think I ended up losing three or four beetle spins all but one of my minnows. We decided it was time to move to a different hole where we knew there would be crappie. But something else started happening and it was almost like we just were not meant to catch crappie that day. Okay, y'all, so we just kind of got here into this spot where we're gonna catch crappie, and the water is starting to turn really muddy, and if you notice, there's a lot of current going back up into there. So we might change tactics here. We're not gonna have a long time to fish. I guess they're letting water out of the river and it's flowing down and, and causing it to flow in here and, and make things kind of murky. So 
we'll still go after crappie. There's a little pocket back here we're gonna go check out. And if it's deep enough and the water's cool enough, uh, which right now it's about 79, 80 degrees, which is pretty hot. So they're definitely post spawn. But uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna try and catch some back here. And if we can't, we're gonna switch tactics up and we will catch some fish today. So here's what the river looked like when we got there. I'd say the visibility was about a foot. This is the same exact area at the end of the day. I guess they're letting water out of the bottom of the dam in anticipation of some upcoming rainfall just in case it floods. But that muddy water is definitely not going to help us catch fish, especially bass or crappie. Look at this though, you see that really green water mixing with that muddy water? It's almost like the water is so hot that there's some algae spawn going on or something, and that's definitely not going to help us catch fish. But it didn't seem to affect this fish. Yeah, got something here. Boy, he's not coming up either. I don't want to force him, because I at least want to see what he is. Boy. It's got to be. I don't know what else it would be. Yeah, man, I can't even get him to come up. I'm worried I'm going to lose this fish. It's staying down like it's not a bass. Golly, I almost got him up there. What the heck? Oh, it's a big old Gasper goo. Big old goo. Yeah, that's, that's, that makes sense. They fight so hard. I know, man. That's a nice one. Uh, if, if there can be a nice one. Boy, he slammed that thing. Really? <laughs> I'm gonna get them in. They fight so hard, man. That's disappointing. It's cool, but it's also slightly disappointing. Golly, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna weigh him. Look at that. I'm gonna weigh it. I'm gonna say five and a half pounds. Stabbed my foot pretty good there. Let's get the scale out. He's got some nice purple on him. You never seen somebody catch a gasper goo? I catch them. I catch them all the time, man. I have no idea. Six point three pounds. Six three, nice. There he goes. Oops. I got it right there, y'all. Six six point three. We're gonna get him back in the water now. That's one of the things I love about a beetle spin. You can literally catch anything, and you're about to see what I mean by that. We moved back in the cove, tried to catch a couple more, didn't have a whole lot of luck on the uh, target species. Did catch a fish, though. That's my, that's my minnow. Got one. Oh, he came off. I don't know. I don't know. They, they popped him out of the water. Sure sounded like a bass. If you look at my minnow as I pull him out of the water, you can see that he's just about bit in half. I'm gonna go ahead and say, based on my experience that day, that that was a gar. Yeah, I know, man. I Guys, I just hooked something right up on the bank. I don't know what it is. Immediately started rolling on me here. Now it's right below my kayak. I just, I don't know how well it's hooked, once again. Really? No, that's a channel cat. Boy, that's a nice channel cat, too. There, I got him. There he is, y'all. On a beetle spin, that's right. Fishing for crappie with the beetle spin. Water started getting a little murky, so I thought, hey. Or, actually, Jake, I thought, hey, let's, there was a cove. There was a cove, let's go back in this cove. What'd you say? Your camera on? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, fishing a beetle spin, and I've caught a Gasper goo, and I've caught a channel cat now. I'm not going to weigh him. I'm just going to toss him back. He's probably about 30 pounds. No, he's probably like five, four, four, five. I didn't see your tripod. I thought you were... No, yeah, I put the, I put the uh, GoPro up there. He's like, he knows his chest pound is annoying. <laughs> just, just practicing, rehearsing. I don't know where my bobber went. Oh, there it is. 
I catch the weirdest stuff, man. We're fishing for bass and I can't even catch a bass. We fished that cove for another 10 minutes or so and we didn't have any luck. And then I started trying to catch a gar on a beetle spin for the video, cause I was gonna make the video and I still am all about the beetle spin. Uh, and you know, when I start trying to catch gar specifically, it's probably time to move spots because I'm getting bored. In Asia, there's a gar right there. I'm gonna hook him. Oh, he's got it. He has got the beetle spin. All right, he's just walking. That was cool. <laughs> you see that? Yeah, it's on. Yeah. I don't know if the camera got that. I think it did. <laughs> okay, guys, the river has come up about two feet since we first entered right over there, and it is really muddy. I think, I think Jacob wants to pull up right there. We're gonna get out and just kind of hang out for a little bit, walk up and down this bank and fish and see what we can catch. It's gone from fishing for crappie to doing whatever the heck we want. All right, guys, we were preparing the kayaks to take a little break in my, my bar right here. Just, I'm, I'm tangled up with my cap, but I've just got a six pound test here and he's really in the current. I just tossed out a dead minnow, so I'm guessing it's a catfish. He's swimming like a catfish. It's probably a gas goo again, honestly. They always fight so much harder. <laughs> Called it. It's gas for gear. All right. Well, that's all right. They fight so hard, but they're just they're borderline trash fish. I don't know if y'all saw my trot line or my dock line video, but uh, basically I said that Texas Parks and Wildlife. You hear that grunting? They grunt. It's pretty cool. Anyway, we're gonna unhook them and get them back in the water. But yeah, another gas for gear. All right guys, we're just kind of chilling, taking a break and my bobber went under. Now don't get too excited because it's probably a gar and I'm probably not gonna get the hook set. It's feeling pretty garish. It's looking pretty garish. Come here, buddy. Now you gotta be careful because A, their teeth will obviously cut you, and B, pretty much every single fin, scale, everything on their body will cut you. So uh, you just kind of kind of scoop them up from the bottom, and if they start wiggling and trying to flip out of your hand, you just got to let them go. This one here is a spotted gar, very ugly. Actually, no, this is a short nose gar. How about that? So you got your long nose gar, your short nose gar, your alligator gar, and your spotted gar. Now in the in this river, which shall remain unnamed, uh, your main species are going to be the. Wow, there's some weird bug on his side there. Whoa, look at that! Looks like a little stingray, doesn't it? Yeah, that's crazy. Wow, what is that? I have no idea. Some parasite alien thing. But anyway, your your main gar are the long nose gar. Then you've got some spotted gar and some short nose gar like this. So we're gonna. We're gonna get the hook out of him and then toss him on back. But yeah, just pretend I caught that on a beetle spin. All right, well, the water is really starting to flow. I don't know if y'all can see that. We were standing right out here, right where my finger is here. We were standing there earlier throwing the cast net. That tree Jacob caught that bass on was right there. Uh, so the water's up a couple feet. It's really starting to flow. And the issue there is that it's starting to get really, really muddy. Uh, and I don't, I don't think we're gonna catch anything else, which is fine. Came up here to catch crappie, it didn't really work out, but the thing about that is we didn't give up. We decided that, hey, you know, we'll catch other fish. It's gonna be fun no matter what. And we did that, it was a good time. Caught a caught a channel cat on a beetle spin, caught a really nice gas for goo, if you can call one nice. I'd say that was a nice fish uh, on a beetle spin as well. So that, that was fun. We had a good time. Jacob said he had a good time. We're to come back sometime when it's not quite as muddy and we'll get out and we'll catch some crappie next time. I keep saying that, but I've yet to deliver the crappie. It's coming, I promise. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. See you next time.